at three in Crossville, and welcome to all. Tonight, the world's a stage, well, Market Square at least. The Tennessee Stage Company season of Shakespeare on the Square begins at seven with a rendition of one of their great, great plays. Emily DeVoe joins us live from Market Square with more. You already got your seat there, huh? Yeah, I'm three hours early, but I saw the video from last year and I know how popular these plays are. And tonight's the first night, and even though it doesn't start till seven, we're getting a preview. Take a look on the stage. Like any good Shakespeare play, this one has some great fight scenes, but you might not have heard of it. It's not Hamlet or anything familiar like that. Tom Westhill, he's the artistic director. Tell us this play is a little obscure. Tell us about it. It is obscure. It's one of the last plays Shakespeare wrote. It doesn't fall into his usual categories. It's called a romance, which is a lovely name. And it's really kind of a cracked fairy tale, kind of a fractured fairy tale. Uh, a woman gets, uh, her husband is banished and she runs off looking for him and ends up with these uh, other crazy banished warriors who live in a cave out in the mountains. Uh, Rome has invaded Britain and, uh, and it ends with a huge war. Uh, so it's a very cool, funny play. Funny, romantic, and action-packed, obviously. Tell Absolutely. us about the fight scene going on right now. Uh, this fight scene is between uh, a Briton and a Roman, and uh, the bad guy the, in the vest is Iacomo, uh, who has aligned himself with the Romans, and he's the bad guy. And uh, the Billy Kyle in the white is the good guy, white. Uh, he's the uh, banished Posthumus. His name is Posthumus, of all things. Uh, and he is the, uh, the, the king's... Uh, daughter's husband, except the king doesn't like him. And even though you said this play has a lot of fight scenes, you're doing another play, Henry IV, that you said is packed even more with fights. Tell us about that one. Henry IV is huge with fights and they're broadswords. In this fight, in this play, they're mostly uh, foils. In Henry, they are broadswords and they're huge fights. We have staffs and uh, all kinds of fighting. It's the story of England, uh, of the uh, process in which Henry IV uh, maintained his kingdom for his son, Henry V, who of course has the much more famous play, Henry V. Uh, you know, Shakespeare wrote a whole lot of plays about the kings and the, the kings and the progression of kings in England. And, but it's got the Falstaff character in it, one of the great Shakespearean characters, one of those funny, huge, fat guy with the beard, you know, who tries to drink his way through England. And, um, and in Henry IV, Part I, he kind of does, destroying taverns as he goes. He's a crazy guy and really funny. Drinking, fights. Sounds like it's going to be a good production. <laughs> and even if people haven't heard of Cymbeline or Henry IV, what would you tell them uh, about these two plays? Well, this might be your only chance to see them in your entire life. They are not the more uh, the more uh, done as much as many other plays. So it's cool when you get a chance to do these uh, these plays that aren't seen as often. Um, and they're just funny, great, neat shows. So it's kind of interesting that they're not done uh, as much as you know the Hamlets, Romeos, and Juliets, and things like that because they're great. They're and great. I, and I'm willing to bet it's probably the only time you could also see these plays for free. That's what's so great about Shakespeare on the Square is they don't charge anything. Of course, you guys are always accepting donations, and you can buy VIP tickets for up front. That's what I got my chair there for. And uh, anyway, tonight's the first night, but they've got shows Thursdays through Sundays all the way until the middle of August. So, Russell, it is going to be a great evening here in the Square. All right. Sounds like it. Emily, thanks very much.